to the yoga tour. My name's Anna. Today we're in Fjerdingen in Norway, next to this lovely waterfall. Here's Lenny, he's joining us today. So we're gonna do a 20 minute flow and just to get you moving, get you feeling good for the day. Okay, so we're gonna start in a nice, comfortable seated position. Sometimes it's quite nice to pop a pillow underneath the bum just to help raise up the hips, and drop the knees down. And we're going to bring our right hand to the chest, left hand down onto the belly. And we're just going to start to focus on the breath. So just observing the natural flow of breath this morning. We're not trying to change anything, just noticing how the breath is feeling today. Noticing the lengths of the inhales and the lengths of the exhales. Noticing where you can feel the breath going in the body. Can you feel it in the top of the chest? Maybe in the middle of the chest? Maybe you can feel it down in the belly. Lovely, and just checking in with yourself. Just noticing how you're feeling today. Lovely. And then we're gonna bring both hands onto the belly and practice our belly breath. So as we're inhaling, we're breathing into the hands, feeling that expansion in the belly and exhale to release and let it go lovely inhale breathing into the hands feeling that expansion in the belly and exhale release lovely so just continue to breathe at your own pace Lovely, one more big breath here. Lovely, and relax the hands down onto the knees. We're gonna stretch out the neck, so sitting up nice and tall, reaching up through the crown of the head. As we exhale, we're gonna drop the chin down towards the chest. Lovely, inhale to raise the head back up. As we exhale, turning the head to look towards the left. Inhaling as we bring the head back to center. Exhale, turning the head to the right. Inhaling to come back to center. This time exhaling the left ear to the left shoulder. And inhaling to bring the head back up. Exhaling the right ear to the right shoulder. Lovely. And inhale to come back up. It's time turning the head to the left, dropping that chin down towards that left shoulder. And the left hand comes over to the right, just drawing the right shoulder away. Get a nice stretch in the neck here. Let's just take a couple of breaths here. Lovely. And inhale, bring the head back to center and exhale turning the head to the right dropping the chin down towards that right shoulder the right hand comes over to the left shoulder lovely breathing into that stretch lovely and inhale to come back to center i'm just gonna take a big inhale to raise the shoulders up and a strong exhale as you let it go. Lovely, inhale, raising up the shoulders and exhale, let it all go. Inhale to raise it up, one more and exhale, let it all go. And we'll do our wiggling. Lovely, just breathing it all out, wiggle it all out, let it all go. Very nice. So we're gonna roll it over onto our hands and knees. So making sure that our 
hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And spreading out the fingers nice and wide. We're gonna go through our cat cow. So as we inhale, drop the belly down, raising up the head, opening up the chest, lovely. And as we exhale, we're rounding through the spine, shoulder blades apart and drop the head down. Lovely, so just continue with that movement, starting the movement from the base of the spine, working the way up. So we're exhaling as we round through the spine. Lovely. So we'll do one more full breath. Lovely. And then coming back into your neutral spine. So we're going to take an inhale to raise the left hand and the right foot. And exhale to release down and opposite sides. Inhaling up the right hand and the left foot and exhale to release, lovely. So just continue to move with your breath, alternating each side, <clears throat> lovely. We're starting to activate the core here, bringing in a little bit of focus and balance. We'll do one more <clears throat> on each side, lovely. And then we're going to come into our first downward dog, so curling the toes under. And as we exhale, raising up the hips. Lovely. So we can bend one knee at a time just to ease in each leg. So remembering to keep pressing into those fingertips, spreading out the weight in the hands. We're really raising up the hips. Lovely. And then your next inhale, lifting between the hands. We're going to step the feet towards the hands. And exhale as we fold over the legs. So bringing one hand, the, each hand to the opposite elbow. And relaxing down in your ragdoll. Just maybe wiggling from side to side or forwards and backwards. Just relaxing the head down and the shoulders. Letting go of any tension. Lovely. And releasing the elbows, taking an inhale, just raising up halfway lift. Lovely. Exhale, holding it down. This time we're going to take an inhale and reach all the way up. And exhale to bring the hands down into the heart. Lovely. So we're going to come into our flow now. So bringing the feet nice and comfortably together, we're going to roll back the shoulders, <clears throat> engaging the core, lifting up the kneecaps, lifting up through the crown of the head. Take an inhale to reach the arms up, creating as much length as you can. As you exhale, we're folding it forward, softening the knees as you come down. Take an inhale, we're raising it up, halfway lift. As we exhale, hands come down to the mat, stepping the feet backwards into your plank or hands and knees and lower the body down to our baby cobra. As we exhale, pressing into the hands, come through hands and knees, curl the toes under, pushing it up into your downward dog. Lovely. And we'll take a few breaths here in our downward dog. So we're externally rotating the shoulders and we're internally rotating the thighs, drawing the belly in towards the spine. <clears throat> Lovely. And with your next inhale, looking towards the hands, stepping, or you can jump the feet up towards the hands. Exhale as we fold over the legs. Lovely. We're going to inhale, scooping it all the way up reaching the hands together at the top and exhale the hands down into the heart lovely <clears throat> give yourself a nice wiggle just let it all go 
Okay, so we're going to start back at the top of the mat. Feet nice and comfortably together, lifting up the kneecaps, rolling back the shoulders, engaging the core, taking a big inhale to reach the arms up, creating that length. Exhale as we fold it forward, softening the knees, come all the way down. Inhale, we're raising it up, halfway lift. As we exhale, bring the hands to the mat, stepping the feet backwards into your plank or hands and knees and lower the body down, keep the elbows up into our upward dog. As we exhale, curling it under, downward facing dog. Lovely, we'll take a few breaths here. Now downward dog. Nice long deep breaths, pressing into those fingertips. Lovely. On your next inhale, we're going to raise the left leg up to the sky. As we exhale, we're going to bring the foot in between the hands. Love. Inhale up with the left hand, open up through the chest. As we exhale, the left hand comes onto the inside of the left foot. Raise the right knee and drop the ankle down. Inhaling up. Lovely. Take a couple of breaths here. And exhale to bring the right hand down. The left hand comes over to the left. Inhale to shoot that left leg back up. And exhale to release the foot down. Lovely. It's going to do the same again on the other side. So we're inhaling up the right leg. As we exhale, bringing that right foot in between the hands. Lovely. Dropping down the left heel. Inhaling up with the right hand, opening up through the chest. Exhale the right hand onto the inside of the right foot. Raising up the left knee and dropping the heel down. Inhale up with the left hand. Lovely. Taking a couple of breaths here. And exhale, we're going to bring that left hand back down. The right hand comes over to the right. Inhale to shoot that right leg back up. And exhale to drop the foot down. We're going to inhale onto hands and knees. As we exhale, uncurl the toes, drop the heels down. The bum down to the heels. Breathing into the belly. Lovely. Feels good, you can drop the head down onto the mat. Nice big breaths into the belly. Lovely. On your next inhale, we're going to raise it up back onto hands and knees. As we exhale, the left hand comes underneath and across the body. Lovely. Just getting a nice stretch in the spine here, nice stretch in the shoulder, the left shoulder. Lovely. Inhale, we're coming back onto hands and knees. As we exhale, the right hand comes underneath, threading the needle. Lovely. Breathing into the stretch. And inhale to come back onto hands and knees. And now we're going to drop all the way down to the mat, so lowering the body down. Bringing the arms out in front of you. We're going to take an inhale and raise up the left hand and the right foot. As we exhale, lowering down. And then inhale, raise up the right hand, left foot. And exhale to release. Just alternating each side, moving at the pace of your breath. Lovely. Do one more on each side. And then the 
this time we're going to raise up all four. hands underneath the shoulders, moving it all the way back, coming into our child's pose to counter that pose. Lovely. Breathing into the belly, nice long deep breaths into the belly. And taking an inhale, we're going to come back onto hands and knees. Gonna swing the feet around to one side or cross the feet over and walk the hands back, rolling onto our bottoms. Lovely. We're gonna have the legs out in front of us. Have a slight bend in the knees to start with. Again, you can sit on a pillow here if it feels good just to raise up those hips. We're gonna take an inhale to reach the arms up. Create as much length as you can. And exhale as we fold it down. So we want to make a chest thigh connection here. So if that means bringing up the thighs closer to the chest. Okay. You can either hold it still or you can bring in some movement. Inhaling as we create length in the spine. And exhale as we fold it forward. Or just holding it still, whatever works. Shuffling the heels away as we start to feel more comfortable, but keeping the chest back connection. Exhaling as we fold it down. Next inhale, walking the hands back towards the body, bringing them just behind. Give your legs a nice wiggle. Lovely. And then coming back into our seated, our cross-legged seated position, where we'll do a few final breaths together. So big inhale to reach the arms up, creating as much length as you can. And exhale the hands down into the heart. And again, big inhale to reach up. And exhale, whew, down into the heart. Lovely. And exhaling it down into the heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time.